Okay, so next thing is, is something very interesting that we talked about earlier today when we talked about the scientific parts. We talked about the... Uh, there's something very different about the Torah versus any other book that was ever written. And over here in... Uh, Verse 29, 40, 46, 45 and 36, Hashem says, I'll read it in Hebrew, then English, moed, ve'et המזבח, ve'et הארון, ve'et בניו, הקדש לחיין לי, לחיין לי, ושכנתי בתוך בני ישראל, והייתי להם לאלוהים, ו- וידעו כי אני אדוני אלוהיהם, אשר הוצאתי אותם מארץ מצרים לשכני בתוכם אני אדוני אלוהיהם. So the most important part about this specific point that's different from any other book Oh, actually I'll read in English, I'm sorry. I shall sanctify the tent of meeting and the altar and Aaron and his sons shall I sanctify to minister to me. I shall rest my presence among the children of Israel and I shall be their God. They shall know that I am Hashem, their God, who took them out of the land of Egypt to rest my presence among them. I am Hashem, their God. So the most, in, in ver- verse 46, it says, They shall know that I am Hashem. Not that they believed that I am Hashem, and they knew I am Hashem. This is something that's very, very different. There's a significant difference between those two words. Every religion in the world, whether it's Catholicism, Christianity, uh, Buddhism, uh, Islam, everything else, is based on faith. Someone said that something happened, and you have to believe it because they say so. Believe, believe. Why did this happen to me? Believe it's for the good. How could I prove Hashem? Just believe He's there. How do I know this? Believe, believe. If you go to a doctor or you go to a scientist, and you tell him, listen, You did this experiment, or you're going to do this surgery. Do you know if you're going to succeed? And they say, no, I believe I'm going to succeed. What's the difference between the the two words? If I believe I'm going to succeed, that means there's a certain part of me that says there's a chance I may not. Meaning there's a certain part of me that says that I don't really know. I hope. Hope, believe. Believe means hope with a lot of ambition. I believe, I'm confident that it's going to happen, but I don't know for sure. To know means that it's fact, that there is no other way. So Hashem says, unlike what everyone tells you, which is to believe in God, in every single verse in the Torah, with the exception of one time, Hashem says, I want them to know that I am God, not to believe that I am God. Meaning that I gave them enough tools in the Torah and around the world and in different things that we have in creation. I gave them, I gave them enough words. I gave them enough things in creation that should give you enough tools to know that I am God. To know that there is a God. Not to just believe that there is a God. Whether it's through science, or through spirituality, or several other ways that you can try. If you search enough, you can confirm 100% that there is a God. One of the things that people have a difficulty with as far as believing in God is people believe that they know science and anytime you hear a few things about science people think they heard something in class they heard something in school and they think that just be heard they, some scientist said something and he has a degree and he has a doctor before his name or a PhD after his name that makes him right unfortunately what most people don't know is that the vast majority of science is theoretical. Theory, by definition, means it's a guess. It's just an educated guess. So when somebody says the theory of relativity, or uh, the uh, scientific theory that they have about, you know, the Darwin theory, or uh, quantum theory, 
or any of these other theories that they have. It's an idea that somebody has that they made an educated guess that they think this is what happened. They can't prove it 100%. They believe this happened. Theory. Theory. Unfortunately, when people are uneducated... They think because somebody said theory, and because he has a doctor sign on his business card, and maybe he has hair like this, and he has a beard like this, and he looks a certain way, and maybe even wears a suit, that makes him right. If they spend just a little bit of time looking on Google what theory means, or even if they ask that person or something, just read about the theory itself, they would see that this is just a guess. Unfortunately, people don't do that. People don't spend much time doing research. They just assume that what people say is right. One of the things I told you guys when we first started this year, and I try to tell you guys all the time, is that anything that we read over here, we talk about over here, I encourage you guys to go check for yourself. Why? Because you shouldn't take my word for it. Maybe I'm lying. Maybe I'm making it up. That's why some of the sources that I have, whether it's the book from Zamir Cohen, or Torah, or Midrashim, or anything like that, I always tell you guys the sources after, before, during... So you go check it yourself. See where the source is. If I'm lying, then you know I'm lying. You shouldn't come again. If I'm not lying, you see it's right. Then this should be uh, something that should cause you to change something. 